from the Thai Cats Audio Network. This is just the point. Good afternoon from Hamilton. It is hot, and it will be hot and exciting on the field. Two rivals, the Argonauts, the Tiger Cats going head to head. The Tiger Cats coming off their best performance of the season. A win in BC where the Lions hadn't won, hadn't won, hadn't lost this year. Tiger Cats gave them their first loss of the season, and now the Argonauts, Luke, and a chance to string together back-to-back wins against two of the league top teams, and that would really change the perspective on the Tiger Cats in their 11th game of the season. Boris Beatty, the kicker for the Argonauts, has missed one field goal this season. This is a 28-yard attempt with the wind for Beatty and the Argos on their opening drive, trying to strike first, and they do. The field goal is good. And early in the Labor Day Classic, the Argonauts have the lead. Taylor Powell and the Tiger Cats offense will try to answer. And they're tough to stop on first and goal. And it is Andrew Harris who gets the handoff and gets into the end zone. So the Argos score again. This time it's a touchdown. And they're up 9-0 with a convert coming up. Here's Boris Beatty with that extra point, and it is good. So it is 10-0 for the Argos with 3.55 to go in the opening quarter. Tiger Cats, they've created the turnover. They have one interception in the game. They were unable to move the football, and then the Argos got that big return from Javon Leak, and they turn it into a touchdown. Good field position again. They're on the Hamilton 31, already up 10-0. We're still in the first quarter. Chad Kelly runs to his right, stops, throws to the end zone. It's another touchdown. They make the Tiger Cats pay immediately. Davaris Daniels gets the touchdown, and now it is 16-0 with a convert on the way. Morris Beatty. Lining up for his second convert attempt of this opening quarter, and he's good again. It's 17-0 for the Argos, and there's still two minutes and one second to go in the opening quarter. This would be the season long for Mark Leggio. A 57-yard attempt. He is wide left. He might have had the leg. Would have been very yeah. close if he was on line. And the ball goes out the back of the end zone. Tiger Cats are on the board. They still trail, though. 17-1. to one. There's four minutes and two seconds to go in the opening half. Mark Leggio for one. But as you mentioned, that was a tough one. 57-yarder. With the win here. 37-yard attempt. Legio's kick is good. So the field goal is successful for Mark Legio and the Tiger Cats creep a little bit closer. It's now 17 to four with a minute 28 to go. Four receivers off to the right for Taylor Powell. He drops back to pass, looking straight ahead, under pressure, throws down the middle, it's a touchdown! It's caught! The Tiger Cats get their first touchdown of the game. It's Terry Godwin with his first CFL touchdown of his career. What a beautiful catch. Unbelievable job at the top of the route by Terry Godwin. Gets gets plenty of separation there from the Argonaut secondary. And Taylor Powell, beautiful, beautiful throw right to the back middle of the end zone. Takes the contact at the catch as well. Man, this tie Cats from the end of that first quarter, if you could have just drawn a line in the sand and called it 0-0 again, yeah. this tie Cats team is actually piecing together a really, really decent football game. Still work to be done, though. Beatty's punt, a low one. And it finds the one yard line, bounces into the end zone, and McAllister will take a knee. Well, that's that's unfortunate. You know, the Ticats went for two after their touchdown. And now you get a single that pushes this back to an eight point game. So you got an interesting point balance going on here, but a lot of time left on the clock. 18 to 10. 
Two ten to go in the third quarter. The clock is running. Argos are close to getting more points. Tiger Cats looking for a turnover. They can't get it. It's a touchdown. Demonte Coxey. His first reception of the game. And it's a touchdown. And the Argos stretch the lead to 24 to 10. Mark Leggio steps up for the 37 yard attempt and it is good. So Leggio successful on the field goal and the Tiger Cats make it an 11 point game. They're down 24 to 13. And there's three seconds to go in the third quarter. Kelly under center, he's gonna keep it, trying to get to his right to the outside, and he dives into the end zone. Chad Kelly gets the touchdown for the Argos, and now they're up to 30 points. 30 to 13. And they'll attempt a convert coming up. Boris Beattie missed his last convert. This time it's good. So that puts the Argos up to 31 points. Tiger Cats have 13. Five and a half minutes to go in the football game. They're down 31-13. The clock is running. Taylor Powell in the shotgun. Gets the snap. Steps back. Here's the pressure from the Argos. And he slings it off to his left. It's a low pass. Tim White makes the catch. Dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Tiger Cats. Tim White. Back-to-back -back games with a touchdown for White. That's right. Last week, returning the onside kick for a touchdown in Vancouver. And now with 100 yards and capitalizing with a touchdown, much-needed touchdown on this drive with 5.18 left on the clock. Tim White, you know, reminding people why he was the signing this offseason, why he's the guy who needs to get the ball in games like this. With over five minutes to go, Tiger Cats are going to go for two again. They tried earlier. They were unsuccessful. Taylor Powell in the shotgun. James Butler to his right. Three receivers also to the right for Taylor Powell. That's the boundary side to the end zone. It's caught. It's Tim White again. He caps off the drive with the two-point convert. And that makes it a 10-point deficit for the Tiger Cats. 31 to 21, and there's 4.56 to go. Receivers off to the right, that's the boundary side. He'll pitch it back to A.J. Olad, and he's gonna throw it. He throws to the end zone, and it is a touchdown. Dejon Brissett, and the Argos went deep into the trick bag for that one. A.J. Olad passes for the touchdown. Throwing for that touchdown, Boris Beattie gets the convert, and the Argos might have put this one out of reach. 38 to 21, 315 to go. You never know. Coming on for a 27-yard field goal attempt. John Haggerty is the holder. He's the normal punter, but he was a game-time decision. Beattie took both roles in this game. He was very good for the Argos in hunting. Here's a 27-yarder. That's good. That adds to the Argos' lead, and now they've put 41 on the Tiger Cats. 23 seconds. The clock is ticking. It's a third and two coming up for the Tiger Cats, and Taylor Powell's in the shotgun. He's going to pass. Waits, throws, James Butler. It's actually Terry Godwin who jumps up and makes the catch, his second touchdown of the game. And Taylor Powell took a hard hit. He's really slow to get up. But he threw a touchdown pass to Terry Godwin. Those two have connected twice in this game. There's 11 seconds to go. Mark Leggio on for the one-point convert. And it's good, so that gives the Tiger Cats 28 points. And let's do the glass half full. 28 points on the Argos is pretty good. Giving up 41's the problem. They're down to their third string quarterback. Looks like Brian Scott out there now to be on the field in a CFL regular season game. 
And he'll take one more knee, and that will make this game official. So the Argos continue to be the cream of the crop in the CFL. They improve to 9-1. and one. They win the Labor Day Classic for a second straight year. 41-28 to 28 in a high-scoring affair at Tim Hortons Field. 